What up? It's your girl Nick. Oh man, my poop getting super long, super long. Oh, getting that hang time, getting that hang time. Oh my gosh, y'all. 2018 has been extremely epic for me. I am so glad, man, that that 2018 kicked off the right way because every single day after, I mean, what, we're already at February 1st and it has just been such an amazing journey for myself. Like every single day there has been something for me to be grateful for and it's just, it's just right, man, 2018. Thank you, 2018, I'm loving it. Anyways, you guys, y'all already know if y'all have been keeping up with my last few videos, that I have finally found my biological family. And so many of y'all had questions, uh, so many questions that I couldn't answer like in one video or at the time just because I was overwhelmed with emotions. And um, now I'm at a place where I can finally answer these questions. So I wrote all of y'all's questions down or I got them in my phone and I'm gonna do a Q&A video here today for y'all. I don't know if y'all could tell, but I've been glowing, y'all. My skin is just like where it needs to be. Been drinking water, been going to the gym. Well, I just started going back to the gym yesterday, but I'm still counting as going to the gym. And man, life has just been good for me um, my way. I'm extremely happy. Um, y'all can probably tell in my Instagram pictures and my Snapchat story, like y'all already know that I have just been on cloud nine ever since. So um, I'm happy to share these questions and answers with you guys today. Uh, these questions are all from y'all. Thank you so much. Uh, let me see, there's a few people who I want to thank in particular. Tiffany Stone for sending me questions. Um, let's see, there's another one. Fresh Air 79, always showing love on my videos. Shout out to Tamika Tolliver for sending a question in. Um, but these questions are from all over. A lot of y'all have just been sending me questions, whether it's on Twitter, Instagram, um, through my email address. Shout out to Eliza Barrientos. I hope I said that right. Um, she sent me a question on Twitter. Um, so let's get started with these questions. First question, how different do you feel? Huh, I mean, I, f I don't know how different, I could say this different. My arms don't even fit in the screen of the video, but I feel really different. Different in a good way. I have a lot of answers to questions that I have been wondering my whole life. And um, so now I feel like I have a lot of, of answers. I feel almost complete in a sort of way. Um, there was a lot of unanswered questions in my life growing up and now I have those answers and it's just an incredible feeling to know, you know, um, it's important to know who you are and where you come from, no matter what the circumstance is. And I feel great now. I feel like, like I said, complete, like uh, there's a missing piece of my life that has just came to full circle. And I don't know if there's a word for that, but I am just like on cloud nine, like I said. Have you been able to spend one-on-one -on -one time with your mom? Yes, I actually have more than once now. Um, the first time we spent one-on-one -on -one time was like probably about a week after we met for the first time. Uh, we actually went to a pizza place because both of our favorite foods are pizza. And she took me to a pizza place called Ferrari's out here in Dallas in a suburb called uh, Grapevine. If you haven't been there and you live in Dallas, definitely go check out that restaurant. We went there and the pizza was amazing. And there we talked, we caught up a lot. You know, um, we're gonna be catching up for a long time because I'm sure, you know, we're, we're still getting to know one another. But I got a lot of questions answered that day in particular and she told me about myself and uh, background and stuff like that. You know, we, we have hung out more than once since then. We went to lunch again, we went to an Indian restaurant, uh, we went shopping together. It's just a few things that we have done. One thing that y'all didn't know is that she actually lived two exits away from me. So we are literally 10 minutes up the road from one another. So. If she needs something, I can go to her. If I need something, she 
she can come to me. I mean, we're literally right up the street from each other, which is pretty crazy. And how small the world is blows my mind. How does your adoptive family feel now that you have met your biological family? My adoptive family is extremely supportive. I'm really blessed in that aspect because um, they haven't told me anything negative about the situation. If anything, they want to meet my family. They want to spend time with my brothers and get to know them also. They want to meet my mom. And uh, I have such a big adoptive family. Um, my grandma had eight kids, so there's a lot of us to meet. You know, just getting the time right to get my biological family together and my adoptive family together um, and the best time. It, that's just the hard part right now is figuring out when we can all meet up. They're handling it very well. They all support me. They all ask me all the time, how are your brothers doing? You know, when can we meet them? They've just been really, really supportive the whole way and I'm super grateful for that. Blessed. How is Jamal's family handling it? So Jamal's family is doing the same. He posted a status on Facebook about him finding his biological family and they all seem very supportive. No one has been like in his face talking any negative things to him. So I'm assuming they're handling it the same way. Um, he hasn't told me that they've handled, handled it differently. So I know that he comes from a good family just like I did and we're good over here, man. It's, it's a miracle that it did happen that way, and we're extremely blessed to have that type of people, those type of people supporting us. Um, man, they're handling great. No problem so far. Was your mom's name actually Evelyn Jimenez? It was, y'all. I had the right name the whole time. So it's crazy because when I was looking for my biological mom one day on Facebook, I was scrolling through pictures. Um, I was scrolling through, like I typed in Evelyn Jimenez in the search and her profile actually popped up. I have seen my biological mom before. I did not know it was her. I went to her page, looked through the pictures and I was like, mm, it could be her, it could not be her. I wasn't too sure, so I kind of shrugged it off and um, I skipped right over her profile after looking through, like I didn't reach out to her. Um, but I actually saw my mom on Facebook before I even knew that that was her, which is really, really crazy. Like I look back now, like what? That's the, I've seen that picture before. But um, yes, her name is Evelyn Jimenez. Uh, now it's good because she is actually remarried and Jimenez is her maiden name. Where did I find them? So I, fa I found them here in Dallas. Like I said, two exits up the road from me. And to me, I mean, I didn't physically find them myself. A lady named Jerry helped me. She is the founder of America's Taken Children. And um, she does a lot of nonprofit work in uh, helping people find their biological families and uh, children who have been taken from their biological families through like CPS and stuff like that. Well, she reached out to a search angel in Houston, Texas. Her name is Emily. And Emily actually used all the information that I had about my biological family and uh, used all the resources she had and she actually found my family within like five minutes after receiving my information. So I didn't do much work. I mean, I did, you know, I actually put the thought out there that I was going to find them and I took time and effort to make that video with the cards, you know, um, in hopes that they saw it. Well, somebody did see it and it was uh, Emily and Jerry who actually found my biological family. Who knows, had I not made that video, maybe they wouldn't have seen it and been able to help. Another person who played a great part of helping me find them is my friend Elizabeth. We went to high school together and she actually tagged me in a post that Jerry had posted and that's how me and Jerry connected. So um, thank you, Elizabeth, for tagging me in that, man. I, I can't thank you enough for helping me find them. Will your new family be introduced to your family that raised you your whole life? I am assuming so, and I'm hoping so. You know, I really want my dad to meet my mom and my brothers, and I, I want the rest of my family to meet them too. Um, all of us have like family that we want each other to meet and it's crazy because uh me and jamal you know we're the two new people into the family 
and um, old but new at the same time. So we still have relatives to me, aunts, uncles, cousins, the same for my biological mother and my brothers. They want to meet my family. I want to meet their family. Like It's just so much going on. So eventually we're all going to meet. I'm pretty sure we have plenty of time to do that. So it's going to happen. Just don't know when right now. Any word about your biological father? Actually, I do have information about my biological father. I actually have seen a picture of him. I haven't met him, but according to the information that I've gathered about him, he pretty much has many children. That's okay, you know, uh, I right now at the moment, I don't feel the urge to meet him. I'm okay with the information that I have about him he is pretty much off the radar so he's not found and like he doesn't have facebook or anything i won't share his name or anything but i have seen him apparently i have half brothers and sister or maybe sisters i don't know for sure i have two half brothers um one is older than me and i think the other one is younger than me but yeah i i have found out much information about my biological father and I'm okay with without meeting him for now. Maybe in the future I might feel different and want to take that journey. But right now, I'm chilling. Well, those are the questions you guys have asked me. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. More videos are coming soon. Um, I have so many ideas where I want to take this channel this year. And I'm excited to share that with you guys, y'all. It's going down, you already know. If you have any more questions that I didn't answer here on this video, just send them, leave them in the comments below, and I'll make a Q&A part two if y'all want. Um, it's really up to y'all. Uh, I, I am pretty, pretty happy about this journey, and I'm still on the journey. So, like, I'm still getting to know my brothers. Um, I'm still getting to, to know my mom. And it's just been a blessing. Oh, and I have two stepsisters too. So uh, I'm getting to know them as well. And it's just, you know, it's a lot, a lot of new beginnings here in my life right now. And I'm happy to share that with you guys, man. If it wasn't for y'all, like, I don't know how I would have been able to handle it emotionally, but just to know that I have y'all and um, Leslie and my family and like all that support, y'all really helped push me through this and uh, helped me face some of my biggest fears you know um in the, in this journey is just to like summon muster up the courage to even do this like um i need a job for that so thank you guys so much and be sure to hit that subscribe button and the bell right next to the subscribe button so you can get notifications when i upload here on my channel until next time peace